Hey guys, welcome to my high level money making guide and this is the third and final episode of this mini series. I have a low level money making guide, a mid level money making guide and now a high level money making guide. So the links are in the description if you want to check either of those two other videos out. So to start off we have frost dragons. Frost dragons have one requirement that is 85 dungeoneering and 110 combat level is recommended or higher and 85 herb lore is really useful for the uh, super anti-fire potions right there and you made 3 to 4 mil per hour doing this method so first of all frost dragons are in the Asgarnian ice dungeon south of Port Serum, Port Serum Lodestone and uh, you're going to want to go into the resource dungeon in there and then you'll come to this spot right here and there's loads of frost dragons and you could use any uh, combat uh, a type or whatever I'm using melee here but it doesn't really matter they're pretty weak actually um, magic note paper, paper is really useful here the frost uh, dragon bones are worth about 10 or 11k so noting those you don't lose too much profit 2k per bone but it's still a lot and you can stay much longer. Uh, 96 summoning also helps with the Pachyak. You can use your winter scrolls to teleport the bones to the bank. So uh, you could bring those too. You don't. We wouldn't need much food here. Uh, soul split and uh, turmoil should be pretty good uh, to replenish your HP. At least uh, you just use soul split. There's also a upgraded bone crusher that you could get that makes this so much faster. You could get up to four, maybe five mil if you are really good at it. And to do this, you need to get some uh, techie, which is the uh, currency at the chartered islands. So you could get that and upgrade it. It's quite expensive and I don't have it yet. But uh, if you do get this, the bones will automatically go to your inventory. And that really, really helps. But without this upgraded bone crusher, you can still make 3 to 4 mil per hour. So it's still a really good method. So now on to the next method. So next we have Killing Moose Buzz. This requires the Fate of the Gods quest. And 80 magic is recommended, as well as 96 herb lore and summoning for the overloads and pack yak. And uh, 95 prayer for uh, curses is also really useful. So to get to the Moose Buzz, you're going to want to go to the world gate and teleport to the cradle and so the moose path should be right here uh, you should also bring your shard of zeros if you don't want them to be aggressive so I mean depends on if you want them to all attack you or not they do they have a hundred percent accuracy so that might be a little bit difficult if you don't bring it I like bringing it just it's a little more AFK you don't have to worry about it as much Moose Fuzz are also weakest to magic, I believe, so you should use that um, the uh, Blood Barrage spell with the uh, Ancient Magics. That is probably the best to use here just because uh, you can you heal a little bit from that spell, so that is really useful. And uh, they don't take too long to kill. You can, you can pretty much pick up everything. The Elder Energy is worth a little bit. And uh, they drop alkables, bring your alkable runes, and uh, you can bring the spring cleaner as well if you want to use that. Um, they uh, drop some dragon maces that you can alk, just pretty much a bunch of alkables. So, uh, yeah, and the coin drops are pretty decent as well. Muspas are also a slayer task, so you could. Uh, toggle them on by going to the Slayer Master. I believe it costs a little bit of points, but you really should because these are really good money and a really good Slayer creature to kill. So uh, that'd probably be the best time to actually kill them just because you uh, get some Slayer XP with it as well. Overall, you can make 5 mil per hour doing this method, so that is really good and it's a really good option for high level players. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to this method, so I'll move on to the next one. So this next method is my favorite method, and it's killing Lava Strike Worms. It requires 94 Slayer 
and also 96 herb, herb lore or 96 summoning is recommended for the overloads and pack yak 95 prayer would be really useful and you should have 130 plus combat level if you're going to do this and by doing this method you can make a whopping 7 mil per hour so the easiest way to get here is just to take the canoe which is just east of Edgeville west of the Grand Exchange right there and you're going to want to make your canoe and go up to the wilderness area and yes this is in the wilderness it's at level 35 wilderness so it's pretty deep which is why you need to be a really high level um, you need to bring armor that you're not worried about losing and also bring an amulet of glory or a luck of the dwarves because you do get to keep one item if you don't skull so just bring uh, one of those or any teleport ring or amulet uh, that can teleport at uh, up to level 30 so you just run five levels south when you're done and you can uh, teleport back there's also a bank guy running around here so he could bank there sometimes if he's right close to you um, that really speeds up your trips so lava strike worms are so good for making money because of their ashes that they drop and uh, these ashes are worth uh, 28k so they really really do add up one tip with killing these if you do get uh, or I mean not really with killing it but with picking up drops if you get the uh, wilderness elite tasks done I believe you get these ashes noted so that saves you a ton of inventory space you wouldn't even need 96 summoning you could pretty much just stay here until PK or shows up uh, probably should leave a little earlier just in case but that, that really does save up a lot of inventory. You can bring more supplies to stay there, like shark and uh, prayer potions. So, yeah, that, that would really help. And uh, these also drop a few other random items. There's a nice rune full helm drop. So I was like a 50k drop right there. That's why these are so good. They can drop noted accursed ashes. And uh, that is about 150 to 200k. They drop about five of them so that is a really good drop as well and they do have a little bit of a special attack and when I first came out here I know I didn't realize about it but uh, while you're attacking these they will kind of go underground and drag you in or either go to you and when they go underground you're gonna need to move away because if they come back above ground like on top of you they're gonna deal four or five thousand damage and that that really hurts so uh yeah he's probably gonna do it right here it's really easy to dodge if you know what you're looking for see he goes down he's coming towards me i need to move out of my thing and if he pops up on me that's gonna do a lot of damage so it's pretty easy to dodge if you uh, know what you're looking for and these lava strike rooms also have one or three really notable drops as well they drop the uh, worm, worm heart worm scalp and worm spike and this is really where that uh, big money comes in it's nice to have a possible big item but the uh, worm heart is 23.6 mil as of right now and the worm scalp is 26.8 mil and this spike is 12 mil now personally I haven't gotten one of these yet and I've killed about 1,000 of them it's about 1 in 500, so I'm really unlucky right now. I have a, a friend that killed, just killed these, killed about 100 of them, and he already got two drops, so it's really all about luck there. And that that's why I put, it's usually 6 mil per hour, but if you get one of those, you know, over a long time, it would boost up to 7 mil per hour. So that's where I got that extra 1 mil per hour. So now I'll just show you what I got in this one trip. I got about 12 kills and I stayed here for about 5 minutes and made uh, pretty good money. So uh, there I'm done my trip and I'll just show you how easy it is to teleport back. You just run a little bit south. You can use anticipation if someone's by you so they can't bind you and surge. And then when you get down here you can just teleport with your amulet of glory. So now that we're here in El Edgeville I will calculate the loot. So these searing ashes, uh, 422k, I did get a nice noted 
searing ashes drop. You don't get those every time, probably every one or two trips, but uh, they are pretty good. And so they're about a little bit over 500k, so really good for one of these trips. So there is also one other thing I would like to add about this method, and that is that you can actually get Slayer XP while you're off task doing it by going to get a Slayer contract at Usian or whatever, he's in Edgeville, and you actually get like over 1k Slayer XP per kill. So this is a really good Slayer method if you're not on task as well. Uh, definitely do that if you're gonna be killing these because it's nice to get a little bit of Slayer XP as well. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I really hope this helps you make a little bit of money. Uh, Love Strike Worms are definitely the best method on here and not many people do it for some reason. Probably because they're in the wilderness but you rarely see PKers and it's pretty easy to get away with away from them as well so yeah just just bring some armor that you're not worried about losing and you'll be fine but uh anyway guys thanks for watching and subscribe for more money making guides i'll be making a few more in the future so uh i'll see you in the next one guys peace